Hi, my name is Joni Eisinger. Welcome to my channel. If you'd like to find out more about me, please go to my website, joniswhitelighthealing.com. If you're interested in scheduling a session, you could reach me through my website. I'm doing in-person sessions for folks who are local to North Central New Jersey, and I'm doing Skype, phone, FaceTime, and Facebook videos for folks who aren't or who are not interested in being in person. You could find me on YouTube right here. If you haven't subscribed, please do and press the bell all icon. You'll receive notifications when I put out my next video. Like, share, and comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback. You could find me on SoundCloud, LinkedIn, and Twitter. You could find me on Facebook. Please like my Joni's White Light Healing Facebook fan page. And if you'd like to friend me, please message me and tell me how you found me. I don't friend strangers. There are no timestamps on this video. Today is November 18, 2020. So if you watch it past that date, it's fine. Spirit knows who will be watching and when, therefore it's all good. If something does not resonate, put it on the shelf. You might have an aha moment at a later date. I only bring in the highest of Christ-like consciousness. What does this mean? Those that are enlightened, only the highest vibration souls I will be allowing to come through me. I work with archangels and angels, ascended masters, departed ones and guides, elementals, consciousnesses, and star beings. Okay. Uh, the last part, I used to be a therapist and I didn't believe in any of this. And I got hit with abilities around 2003, 4, 5. And here I am today. This is what I do professionally. So I was batting around different, different ideas for um, YouTube videos. And what I got was, um, what's that smell? So we're going to get into odors and smells, smelly feet, smelly hands, smelly breath, smelly body. What is that smell? So I, this is a topic that needs to be addressed. There are so many topics that need to be addressed and here we are. So for those of you that sometimes have a smell about you, um, you could have it all the time. It could be intermittent. It could be uh, something that came up as you grew up, uh, later on it came about, or if it's only at certain moments, whether it's a certain stress or illness or when you're around someone, whatever the case, I'm going to go in regarding malodorousness and uh, we'll find out what that metaphysical explanation is generally for each, each body part or the whole body. Again, if it doesn't resonate, that's fine. I was guided to do a video on what's that smell. So we've got an Eric Clapton theme here. Thanks so much for that song. And uh, I'm gonna go in and see what spirit has to say first about halitosis or bad breath, smelly breath. That's the first thing that we're going to address. Here we go. What I get is your heart is not in it. So you are um, feeling criminal. You're feeling like you took something. You feel like you are blamed. You are to blame. There's a lot of guilt. Um, I see a lot of suffering, a lot of people that um, there's this, um, a, a lot of mouth but no words coming out, wishing they could express how they feel very forlorn, a lot of damage. And for those of you who have bad breath, take a sip of water. Spirit is working on you right now. The water will help flush negative energy through the physical body. You might want to ingest mint in different ways. You could get peppermint leaves and you could chew them. You could drink peppermint tea. I see um, peppermint oil. I believe that if you put peppermint oil right here at your brow, that will also relieve some pressure. Again, read the disclaimer below. 
Um, see your medical professional for all medical situations. This is for entertainment purposes only. Back to halitosis and bad breath. For some, it is greed and that people have been taking and taking and there's a gut feeling of uh, nasty. And um, ultimately, the person is hurting here. Uh, we know in third dimension that bad breath comes from poor gut health. So we've got this um, arching here, um, this bending forward of pain and hurt, um, love lost, uh, disgust. There are so many feelings here that are coming out. For each one, it seems that it's different. These are rotting feelings. These are symptoms of, it could be rage and guilt, frustration, sadness, disappointment, um, feeling pathetic, disgust. And what I'm getting is, is that the person that is experiencing halitosis wants to say something and keeps keeping it going in. It's going inside and it's coming out as a rot. So you need to ask yourself, for those of you that are having difficulty, also some of you have teeth issues as well, that your teeth are also a mess. Um, you've got disgusting breath and your teeth are starting to become misaligned and ornery because you're not working through the pestilence that's inside of you. Um, identify what um, the hatred is, what the feelings are that are festering and that are boiling. This discontent is killing you. And it's here and it is like a vomit up, a stream of energy that is like sitting in the cave. It's menacing and it poops out and it's telling you how weary you are. When you are finished with this, when you're ready to digest the emotions and process them and exhale, release what is festering, I see the bad breath um, dissipating. I see it ultimately uh, gone. So you have work to do, those of you who have bad breath. You're sitting on your emotions and they are festering terribly. Um, you need to journal, talk to a professional, uh, get help regarding what you stuff and what has not been addressed. Okay. The next thing would be smelly hands. I'm going to go into the hands. Some people say that their hands stank. So I'm going to go in regarding the hands. I get, I can never quite get this and it's, it's just not mine. I can never get it. It slips through my hands and woe is me. Um, why? I'm trying. Everything I do, everything that I try and obtain, I can't get it. Um, am I a fake? Um, why am I so weak? Why am I unable to manifest, obtain? I share a lot. I share and I'm giving, I'm giving, but I'm not able to bring in what is rightfully mine. Uh, my birthright of joy. I, I'm having difficulty with this. So I'm going to go in regarding why it's difficult for you to bring in the joy and manifest what you would like. For some of you, you were told you were inept. For others of you, you have been calling yourself that without having been taught that. And then for those of you who were told that you were inept, you started doing that um, yourself as you grew up. So some, you just created it on your own. For others, you were taught it and you began. You just continued the legacy. This has to do with ineptitude. This has to do with your being told you're unable. And this has to do with your saying to yourself, I'm slimy, I cannot do this. No matter what I do, it slips out of my hands. I can't create, um, it's impossible for me to do this. Challenge the message, challenge this. Do you really believe that you aren't able to create? Uh, we're all creator beings, we're all God sparks, we're all perfection in this way. We all have the ability to do this. So what makes you any different from other? If you have issues that get in the way of your manifesting well, you need to address them one by one. Get help again. 
Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to do a healing regarding all of the karma related to blocks that would cause smelliness. I'm going to go into smelly feet. Here we go. So the first thing that I see is, is I, I see people treading along, but they don't want to be seen. They don't want to be heard. They say, I'm innocent. There's a lot of um, creeping and crawling and not wanting to be detected. A lot of people that are undercover, um, there's, it's fear-based for sure. People don't want to be seen. Uh, it's a hiding out, um, treading lightly. And in this walking on eggshells and peeking around and hiding and, and being cloaked and in subterfuge, I see people um, very afraid that people will find out, that people will know. Um, you need to ask yourself, what is the big secret here? What are you hiding? What is going on here where you don't want people to know? Do you feel that you are very smart and you don't want people to know how smart you are? Do you feel that you've committed errors and you think that you have to be perfect, therefore you have to kind of lay low because you're afraid people are going to judge you as imperfect? You need to ask yourself where that comes from of having to be the perfectionist. Uh, this has to do with not wanting to be detected. I don't want to be found out. Subterfuge, really um, quiet. And um, I see a little bit of suspicion as well. Like, who are you? There's a bit of mistrust as well. All of this is fear-based. And I just see you creeping along and slinking along and not wanting to make any cracks of twigs as you're walking in the forest because then the lion will come out and growl. Uh, what have you done? What do you believe you've done? What crime do you believe you've committed? Who do you think you are? Challenge the lie. Forgive yourself and other. If there are habits that need to be broken, address them. If you wish to do a holy ablution, um, you can um, set a basin up and put water in it and bless the water and put your feet in the water and see it as holy and bless yourself, sanctify yourself, make yourself anew. Now I'm going to go into the full body stank, uh, malodorous body. I get, who am I? I don't like this. Um, this stinks. I'm, I'm hating this. This riles me. This is disgusting. I hate this. Who are you? This is gross. I'm going to vomit. I can't stand this. This is disgusting. It's vile. And I see that a lot of the comments um, of how you view your exterior world in some way have something to do with you, that you are not loving this place. So you are, I believe, externalizing aspects of yourself that revile you. Take a look at who you are, what disgusts you to the utmost. Who are you? Are you someone who has patience? Are you learning? Are you a student here in earth school? Do you want to learn more or are you done? I feel that a lot of the people who have body odor, who are smelly in general, are so cantankerous. They are so full of emotion and um, anger, and they're they're not um, resolute in 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 believing that this is okay, that this existence is fine, despite it being difficult. There's a difficulty accepting that this is an earth school for learning purposes and that all is according to plan, that things are divinely ordered and that obstacles that come along the way are for soul growth opportunity. That is the, that's the whole idea is when you can come to that realization that you are here to learn, you got it. It takes so much of the weight off. And I see for the people who are smelly, they're fighting this concept they don't want to be here. They can't stand their reality. And they keep saying it's disgusting. 
So what parts of yourself do you despise? You are not loving yourself at all. And that you're generalizing this, you're externalizing this to your environment and it's coming out of every pore. Um, you can change this whenever you want. Um, I see some of you have pity, self-pity. Um, you're pitying others, but I see self-pity. And this all has to do with your internal work and the disgust and the revulsion that's inside is streaming out of your body. And it's causing other people not to want to be near you as well, which makes you can't stand your reality more because people are avoiding you because you smell. So work on yourself, clean yourself up, get with the program that this, whoever promised you a rose garden, this is earth school, folks. This is a kick-ass planet. It's not for the light at heart. So if you're here and you can't stand it here, you weren't stupid. You weren't a dummy. You knew before coming in what the landscape would be and you couldn't wait to get here because you wanted the high challenge of soul growth. So if you're fighting it and you smell, it means that you can't stand aspects of yourself and you need to do that work. That's why you're here. I'm going to see if there's more regarding the smell. I'm going to go into sometimes you smell and sometimes you don't the ones where it comes and goes and you you're not a, you don't understand why it comes and goes. It's the effect that you have on people. Um, you land in a certain situation. You're not happy with it and you're putting out a certain stank and people figure it out. They're not happy. They don't like this. The smell that you're emitting. You don't want to be there. So you are showing up in different environments smelly because you're not happy. Get away from me. I can't stand you. The next time that you are emitting odors or you're not aware that you are, but you are aware that people are avoiding you and are giving you weird looks, ask yourself how you feel about this environment. You are in distress and it's coming out through your pores. You might be making enemies. Now, this might not be conscious. It's amazing how our bodies work. Our body is a consciousness that comes together that houses our spirit. Look at that. So we've got the unconscious here. So you might not be aware of any of this that I've just mentioned. That's why I'm coming through as the bridge to to heighten your awareness, to bring it into your third dimensional consciousness so you could maybe start making connections to do self-healing. Some of you are using smell, malodorousness, as a way to ward off evil, and you're using it as a sense of uh, self-protection. See if there's another way that you could protect yourself outside of odors. Um, your glands go into a state of fear when you believe that the person is going to harm you. It's like a skunk and you're going Shh, and you are keeping those away from you that you are afraid will harm you. So you can use your words, you could do avoidance, um, you could put protection around yourself. You might have crystals you could use for protection. You could call upon Archangel Michael, Raphael, Jesus, Buddha, whoever you wish, Mary, you name it, Metatron, you, your go-tos for protection. You don't have to use physical odor. Um, the reason why I say that is you could get a reputation as the smelly one. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, we all have our choices that we make regarding how we um, appear to others. And a more basic way of warding off um, people who could harm us would be through smell, and a higher vibration would be through words or making the decision to avoid, to cut off ties, to distance, um, to... Put white light protection around yourself. Use crystals. Call upon divine ones for assistance. This is your call. All of this is your call. You take 
what I am sharing and you could you could dump it in the trash, you could put it on a shelf or you could bring it in and utilize it. I'm going to see if there's anything more that spirit has to say regarding the smell factor. Hmm. Some of you are feeling terrible about your bodies and you hate your body for being smelly. Um, you need to have a love in with yourself, with your body. It is a physical vessel that knows you in all of its incarnations. So it knows you here and everywhere. And it supplies a lot of information to you. So see how you, you take care of your body if you even do that. What is your relationship with your physical vessel? It is a holy, holy consciousness that comes together to house your spirit in order for you to have an incarnation here. I suggest you're forgiving your body if you blame it and if you hate it. You could do this every day on love on yourself and be your best friend to your body as well. If you have poor hygiene, if that's the third dimensional reason for smelliness, brush your teeth, floss your teeth. You could, there are mint washes for your mouth. You could gargle as well. There are soaps. There are deodorants. There are shampoos and conditioners. There's body lotion, um, moisturizers, and um, there are so many things that you could do, and this is up to you. There are um, sprays, toners. Um, do what makes you happy. Do you need a massage? Do you need reflexology? Do you need to have healing work done to get out trapped uh, emotions that are stuck in the fascia? Do you need a lymphatic drain? Do you need a detox? Do you need colonics? Ask yourself, go inside. What do you need that could also help release at that level, at that physical level? Okay, now I'm going to do a healing for the collective regarding body odor in any way that was aforementioned across time and space forwards and backwards across all generations any body karma and we ball them all up and you say inside i forgive myself Go. forgive everyone and everything Ask for everyone and everything's forgiveness. Please, all of you, forgive me because I had unforgiveness towards you. Thank God for these life lessons. God meaning all that is, the collective of all of us as one. Now, sip water between now and when you go to sleep. It'll help flush negative energies through the physical body. You might want to walk around. I feel that for some of you watching this, it might help for you to open up your body and do some walking. I feel like some of your glands are a bit tight and they need motion in order to do some release work. I think that the color pink will assist you, a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow. I see that these colors even together in tandem will assist in releasing what doesn't serve. You could do that for up to a week. Now, what do I mean by that? You could imagine that these colors come to you and adorn you. You could also, if you're more third dimensional, go to a paint store and get some paint swatches in the color of your choice for each of those three colors and, and overlap them so they're working together and have the, the threes, the little three squares in different key places, like one on your dresser, one on your night table, one on the kitchen counter, maybe one on your card dashboard. And you could put all three of them together and have them with painter tape on your dashboard. Maybe you could put them um, together with painter tape on your bathroom mirror. Um, you could have them together in your pocketbook. These are frequencies. Colors work. They are therapeutic and they will assist in um, moving um, through the layers what need to be healed. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again. Bye y'all.